Hello everyone, this is a tutorial produced by the Scranton Memorial Library on how to use Overdrive's free Libby app. With Libby, you can borrow free ebooks and digital audiobooks from your library. All you need is a library card. So to begin with, you will need to install the Libby app from your device's app store. If you are on an Android device, as we currently are, you will navigate to your app's Google Play Store, where you will download the Libby app for free. If you are on an Apple or iOS device, you will navigate to your Apple App Store, where you will also uh, download the Libby app for free. Once you've installed the Libby app, you can set up a library card. To do so, you will follow the prompts presented to you to find your library and sign in with a library card. You can add as many libraries as you like. You can search by library name, city, or zip code, or view a map of libraries to help you locate one. Once you have set up a library card, you will be able to access your library's collection. You will also be able to borrow a title. To do so, you will search for one. You can use the basic search function, or you can go to more options and be more specific. You could search by title, author, subject, date added, format, language, audience, compatibility, availability, or all. Let's try searching for something. First, I'm going to choose by subject. I would like to search for fiction. Let's try searching by format. I would like to search for an audiobook. And availability. I would like to search for something that is now av available now. Now I press search. These are my results. I can scroll until I find something I like. Once I found something I want, I tap on the icon of the item. It will take me to the items page, in which case I will click borrow. It will show me how many loans I have, how many holds I have, and how long I am going to borrow the item. In this case, I am borrowing Beating About the Bush for 14 days. I will click Borrow, and it will be added to my loans. Now I can open the audiobook in my app and listen to it. Or I can keep browsing, or access other parts of the app. I would like to visit my shelf. This will show me everything I currently have out. I currently have out six items. I can control how long I have these out. I can control when I want to return them. And I can also read them at my own pace, either in the Libby app itself, or if I prefer, in another app, such as a Kindle app. Or I can transfer them to another device. I can take up, uh, I'm sorry, I can take out up to 10 loans at a time. I can take out up to 10 holds at a time, and I will get notifications as to when they are available. I can also tag books by interest, or by whether or not I liked them. I can browse by new books, my preferences, by what's new, by what's popular, and why, why, by what's available. This is the basics of the Libby app. If you have any questions or would like further information, you can email info at scrantonlibrary.org or contact us by phone during the library's business hours. We very much look forward to hearing from you, and we hope this was helpful in learning how to use Libby. Thank you, and we'll see you soon.